Remember when Biden told you this about the bank bailouts? No losses will be, and I'm, this is an important point, no losses will be borne by the taxpayers. Let me repeat that. No losses will be borne by the taxpayers. Instead, the money will come from the fees that banks pay into the deposit insurance. And while technically true, it's basically a lie. And it was also a lie when Janet Yellen told us. Yellen insists a government bailout is off the table. During the financial crisis, um, there were um, investors um, and owners of systemic large banks that were bailed out. We're not going to do that again. Actually, we are going to do that again because just the other day, the FDIC announced that they need an extra $23 billion to cover the losses that they sustained during the SVB, the Silicon Bank, and the Signature Bank bank failures. In the, uh, up until that point, they had about $128 billion on hand. Apparently, they lost $23 billion during the bailouts. And guess who has to pay that? As President Biden said, it's going to be paid by the banks, the evil banks, as Elizabeth Warren is so happy to say. Well, who do you think really makes up the banks? It's not the taxpayer, technically, it's just American citizens who have deposits in the banks. And yeah, so technically it's not taxpayer money, but it's American citizen money, right? Obviously. Basically what's happening is people that deposited money in Bank of America and the other large banks are going to be bailing out Silicon Valley Bank, FDIC to consider bank size in applying special assessment fee. FDIC might make big banks fill the $23 billion hole left by its rescue of SBV and Signature Bank. Who will end up paying for the banking crisis? You. FDIC may force big banks to plug $23 billion hole from Silicon Valley Bank collapse. You also might remember that the big banks already bailed out the third bank that was in trouble, First Republic. This is also a bank that kind of catered to rich people. Uh, they contributed $30 billion to rescue First Republic, another bailout. Uh, Jack, how can that be? I mean, Biden told us, Yellen told us it wasn't going to be taxpayer money, right? And even the media went out of their way to fact check any claims like this USA Today article, false claim that Biden is using Silicon Valley with tax dollars. It's not technically tax dollars, but it's People in America, it's it's us, it's you and me, the American people that are paying for this at large. Rather than have the depositors lose their money because they invested in this crazy, silly bank in Silicon Valley, rather than they pay the price because they didn't care where they put the money, rather than have them pay it, then rather we'll spread it all over the entire country and everybody will have to pay it. That makes no sense because what it does is it spreads the liability, what we call the, the moral hazard, which makes it actually the banking system more susceptible to failure because now there's no penalty for taking outrageous risk. But Jack, as President Biden said, that's the banks paying for it. That's not customers. Where do you get this idea that the customers are going to pay for it? Well, where do you think that Bank of America and the other big banks are going to get $23 billion? They're going to get it from you, you and I, if you're a depositor at the big banks. You see, the small community banks, if you run a uh, bank in Tallahassee or Casper, Wyoming or someplace like that, you actually have a lot of political influence, and those little banks don't want to see their assessment from the FDIC go up, and they're going to lobby their local congressman, a uh, congressperson, to make sure I you know, don't want to misgender anybody. They're going to lobby their local congressman uh, to make sure that the FDIC only makes this assessment on the big banks. Where actually I bank. I bank at ba Bank of America. And so do ga a gazillion other people. So it's going to be paid for by depositors at the big banks. The big evil Wall Street banks. It's going to be paid for the little guy, like me and you, at the big bank in uh, two ways. First off, higher fees. 
higher fees at your big banks and probably a lower return on investment on any type of investment product, even like your savings account. Interest rates are going to be lower because they have to somehow recoup this $23 billion. They're just not going to like just take it out of thin air. Uh, Bank of America can't do that. Only the Federal Reserve can print money out of the thin air. So while it might not be the taxpayer, it is the American people who are going to be participating in this massive wealth shift from the preferred Democratic donors at Silicon Valley Bank to your average American that has a deposit at one of the big banks with so millions, tens of millions of people. Hey, you weren't really surprised by that in the end, were you? I'm John F. Gately from beautiful Plymouth here in the... Um, America's hometown from the home office in Massachusetts. Have a great day. Bye-bye.